Well, folks, here again for the weekly forecast. Quite a cool down as we move toward the end of this week. Uh, of course, we had the very warm temperatures in the very part of the first part of the week, then we had the cold front move through. So much of the forecast from last week kind of verified. The only exception was the precipitation event as the cold front come through was much less than what the models were indicating. And so we had more scattered convection. Now in terms of the drought monitor, we're not showing the drought monitor this week. We did have some slight improvements for that area right around Columbus that received the heavier precipitation. And we've had a few other pockets across the state that have received what would be considered enough moisture to see some slight reductions in the drought monitor. But our consensus was we would like to see what the impacts of this weekend's rains into early next week with the precipitation added on to what we've seen the last 10 days to get us a much clearer picture of what has really occur occurred across the state in terms of the drought. So expect to see some improvements in the drought monitor, but we're going to need to see some significant rainfall throughout the month of August to make us feel comfortable to see wholesale changes in the per current drought monitor depiction. So as we go to the upper air models, what we are going to notice is we have a broad trough that's carved through. Of course, that's that cool air that's coming in. And so we have this conflict between the very warm conditions of the southwest and the cool air to the northeast. And if we have a surface low also indicated in the Texas Panhandle, which is going to lift Gulf moisture up over this cool air, causing an overrunning event, starts out in western Nebraska today and then starts to move eastward. So that trough starts to pivot back a little bit, gives a little bit of energy over eastern Nebraska. And with this low slowly moving into central Texas, really going to move the moisture up into our region tomorrow. And it looks like a fairly widespread precipitation event with the heaviest of it in eastern Oklahoma. But this does look like a good overrunning event. Then this trough starts to slip a little bit toward the east. Still keeps our cool temperatures in place as we have high pressure basically from the northern plains to the southwestern high plains. And that wraparound moisture will bring the, the moisture up into the southern Rockies, keeping most of the area dry precipitation to our east. Now as we get into Tuesday, that trough still remains in place, starts to weaken a little bit. We still have firm high pressure in place. So that's going to keep all of the precipitation for the most part to the south of us and to the west of us. And you can see that that frontal boundary laying out across the southeastern United States and some scattered convection over the inner mountain regions. Then the trough starts to lift a little bit toward the northeast and we start to see some warmer air trying to build into our region, but high pressure will remain firmly in control at least through Wednesday, blocking the movement of moisture into our region. Some uh, uh, upslope flow may occur in the panhandle, but not a widespread event. Now as we get into Thursday, we start to see a little buckle in the jet stream with the northwest flow. So there may be some mid-layer energy moving to our region, but high pressure firmly in control of the northern plains. But we do once again have a surface low over Texas. That's going to pump moisture up into the western part of the state, giving us a decent shot of moisture on Thursday. And then on Friday, the trough starts to deepen a little bit again with that moisture moving up from the north and high pressure over the northern plains. Perfect classic scenario for an overrunning situation. And the models are fairly aggressive with the precipitation indicated for Nebraska. Now as we take this out a little bit farther from next Thursday to the following Tuesday, that cool high pressure is going to remain in place over the central United States, so well below normal temperatures. And in terms of precipitation, with that overrunning event scheduled for next Friday, next th Saturday, we are looking at a broad area of above normal moisture. If we take this out a little bit farther, the latest 30-day forecast does show most of the central United States with below normal tendencies. That's a change from the month before we were above normal, and that means that our 90-day forecast we were showing for no above normal temperatures for our region is likely to come in closer to normal.